Okay, we are multiplying numbers by tens, hundreds, and thousands. A lot of today's class will be using mental math. Let's consider some examples. Um, 43 times 10 is, of course, 430. We understand this pattern, or 43 tens. 43 times 10 is 43 tens, which ends on one zero. Just learned uh, a little bit while ago that, of course, we can write it as 10 to the power of 1. That gives us one zero on only a single 10. 43 times 100. We have 4,300, also known as 4,300. We can write 10 to the power of 2 for 100. And finally, when we're multiplying times 1,000, we get 43,000. And we can also write 1,000 using exponential notation, 10 to the power of 3, which gives us, of course, the same answer. Let's practice, friends. Let's practice. 3,280 times 10, very simple. We just write one more zero here. Same thing, 53,600 with two zeros. Don't forget to write down your registers. And this is the same as 1,000, right? So it becomes 630,000. Now, let's look at something a little bit more difficult. Multiply 16 by 700. Step one, my friends. Multiply 16 times 7. And we know that is... 112. Follow that by multiplying by 100, and we have 11,200. So again, step one, multiply 16 times 7, and then multiply times 100. Do you see how we broke it into two simple steps? Multiply 453 by 3. Let's first find this product. 453 times 3, 9, 15, 13 equals 1,359. Let's break up. Let's look at A, B, and C. Look at the patterns. 30 can be represented as 3 times 10. 300 can be represented as 3 times 100. And 3 times 10,000, so we know this product is followed by three zeros. And here we have 1,359. Oh, I do not need mistake. One hundred thirty-five thousand um, and nine hundred and so on. Look at number four. Multiply forty-five thousand by six. Well, the first step would be to multiply forty-five times six, and we know that that is two hundred and 80? No, 270. My bad. 9 times 3, 270. Now, now that I know that 45 times 6 is 270, I'm only yet to put four zeros. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? Now, let's consider. 600 is, of course, as times 6 and times 100. And 6,000 is times 6 and times 1,000 more. My friends, I will let you complete your own calculations. Let's take a look at number 5. Well, again, let's first multiply 2 times 5. And that becomes 10 followed by 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's put the register and the answer is 1 million. Let's multiply 9,000 is times 9 and 1,000 more. So 6 times 9,000 is 54, followed by also 5 zeros. And here, 800 times 60,000. Well, let's just multiply first 8 times 6. 6 times 8, 8 times 6 is 48, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros, and so on, following the same pattern. Let's take a look at example 6 and 7 and 8, because here they're asking us to do something a little bit different. Number 6, estimate. Number 7, estimate. Number 8, estimate. How do we estimate? Step 1, it's a two-step process. We round, we round, and then we do quick mental math. 
hopefully it will be so easy that you can do it mentally. Those are the steps to quick mathematical estimation. And we should end up with beautiful round numbers. Round numbers are the ones that end on zeros, one or more zeros, correct? We talked about round numbers in our previous lessons. So estimate the value of 70,200 times 190. Well, notice what they've done. 190 is very, is very close to 200. Well, 7 times 2 is 14, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have 1,400,000. Mr. Bates needs 543 costumes for her students, Miss, Mrs. Bates, to take part in a parade. Each costume costs $35. Give a quick estimate for the total cost. My friends, 35 times 543. Look at this. 35 is super close to 40, a beautiful round number. 543, we round it to 500. 4 times 5 is 20, followed by 1, 2, 3, zeros. It's going to cost Mrs. Bates about $20,000 to purchase the costumes. Now, estimate the value of the following. Let me, um, maybe, nope, not this guy. Let's just, mm, not this guy. What is this beautiful tool that I usually use? Ah, here we go, my little whiteboard. And here, I'm going to style it and fill it up with white. Okay, so we have a whiteboard, right? <laughs> Miss Natasha self-made whiteboard. Five, so let's, let's do it. Let's do it to the best of our abilities. 529 times 340. Well, let's estimate. It's about 500 times 300. 7,500 times 386. Well, let's put it at 8,000. We need only beautiful round numbers for easy mental math. And 7,804, 7, it rounds to 8,000. Times 590, it's about 600. Okay, now that I've rounded, that's my first step. Let's go ahead and do quick math. 5 times 3 is 15, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. 150,000 is the answer. 8 times 4 is 32, followed by also 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it becomes 3,200,000. 8 times 6 is 48, followed by 5 zeros. And it becomes 4,800,000. My friends, we finished with our estimation. Look how quick, look how quick it took us. Uh, didn't take that long at all. And that's the idea. That's the whole point. Let me reduce my whiteboard. Okay, now let's do a similar exercise for division. How do we divide by tens, hundreds, or thousands? First, let's divide by 10. 10 is 10 to the power of 1. Of course, 2300 split into 10 groups, we will have 230 in each. We know that. We reduce by 0 on each side. Uh, simplify, as sometimes I call it. Now, 2300 divide by 100, we reduce two zeros on each side, we have 23. And by the way, don't forget that we learned this neat uh, exponent notation that makes it very short. 100 is 10 to the power of 2. And the third example, we're dividing the same friend, 23,000, oh, 23, divide by 1,000. And of course, 1, 2, 3 on the left, 1, 2, 3 on the right gives us 23. And watch this. 1,000 is 10 cubed. I want to show you something you remember from fractions. Let's write down division as a vertical fraction with numerator at the top and denominator at the bottom. If we are to divide the top and the bottom by a common factor and reduce this fraction, we have 23 ones, which is simply 23. Look, it works this way as well, of course, because fractions are division. Let's practice. Let's do some basic practice and we only have one page. Um, here, again, we cross out the two zeros on the left and the right. We reduce by 10. The answer is 520. Divide by 100. 
And the answer is 740. Divide by 1000, of course. That means we take away, we reduce. We divide by 1000 and the answer is 4000. Divide 15,000 by 30. My friends, to divide by 30 is the same as to divide by 3 and divide by 10. By the way, it can be in different order. It can be divide by 10, then divide by 3. Let's split this into two steps. To divide by 30, let's first divide by 10. Reduce that number. Becomes 1,500 divided by 3. The answer is 500. Let me increase, bump up the uh, zoom. Now, look at this. 15,000 divided by 300. Again, to divide by 300 is the same as to divide by 100 and then divide by 3. We can break it into two steps. Cancel the two zeros. 150 divided by 3 is just 50. And a third pattern. To divide by 3,000 is the same as to divide by 1,000 and then divide by 3. And 1, 2, 3 on the left, 1, 2, 3 on the right becomes 15 over 3 is simply 5. Let's practice this. Let's practice in number 3. Divide 2800 by 40. Step 1, it would be as to divide by 10 and then to divide by 4. Divide by 10, we have 280. 280 divided by 4 is 70. Here, in example B, to divide by 800 is the same as to divide by 100 and then to divide by 8. Same process. Let's divide by 100. Now, 6,400 divided by 8. 64 divided by 8 is 8, followed by 2 zeros. And finally, 20 million divided by 5,000. To divide by 5,000 is a two-step process. can be broken in for mental math. Divide by 1,000 first, then follow up and divide by 5. To divide by 1,000, we cancel out the three zeros on each side. And now 20,000 divided by 5. Notice how I write it as a fraction. Same thing. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 20,000 divided by 5 is 4,000. Again, we have a task of estimating. And estimating in number 4, um, get a quick estimate. Uh, number 6, quick estimate. How do we estimate? We've practiced it a few minutes back. Step one, you round. Step two, you give, you do quick mental math. The idea for estimation is that you do something super fast, just in your head. So check this out. Step one, we round 29,920. Ah, we don't round it up to 30,000. Why? Because this is about 400. We round it to the closest multiple of four, which is 28 or 28,000. Two zeros, two zeros, and the answer is 280. 280. This is your rounding step. Very important. Step one, you round. Step two, we do quick mental math. Let's do number five. Maria paid $959 for 33 copies of a new software. What is a quick estimate for the cost per copy? $959, I would say, it's about 900 and 33, just for the ease of division, let's round it to 30. 900 divided by 30, notice I write it as a fraction, becomes 90 divided by 3, which is $30. $30 per copy. And finally, let's practice our estimates uh, right below, our estimate below. Find the value using estimation, remember. First, we round. Divide by 81, let's round it to 80. What is the closest division fact of 8? 64. So let's round this to 64,000, which actually works out quite nice. 64,000 divided by 80. First, divide by 10, reduce by 10. 64 divided by 8 is 8, followed by two zeros. Now, 
22,050 divided by 340. Hmm. I would say 340. We can make it nice and round because we want something fast. Let's make it to 400. And what is the closest multiplication or division fact for 4? It would be 20,000. No, it's not the correct rounding, but we want a quick division job. Reduce two zeros on the left and the right. 200 divided by 4 is, oops, what happened here with my pen? Becomes uh, 20 divided by 4 is 5. 200 divided by 4 is about 50. Notice I use the sign for about, for estimating in mathematics. And finally, example C. 63,800 divided by 6,700. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How can I estimate it very quick? I would say 6,700 is probably very close to 7,000. And what is the closest division or multiple of 7? Division fact, 63,000. Oops, <laughs> Miss Natasha, 60, 63,000. 63,000 divided by 7,000. Of course, let's first divide everything by 1,000. 63 divided by 7 is simply 9. And we are 